I'm starting to think my twin brother might be an idiot and that doesn't bode well for me. He invited me on his honeymoon. More details in my post. My 30F twin brother, 30 meters, invited both me and our mom, 55F, on his upcoming honeymoon. The cruise they are taking has packages and his logic was that since the cost to add two more guests and upgrade to a cabin with more rooms is negligible it made sense. Like him, mom and I have never been outside of Atlantic Canada. We live in Nova Scotia and have been to Newfoundland, Pay, and New Brunswick, and he thought we should come since it's way cheaper than a regular vacation. He did not understand why it was a bad idea even after I tried explaining that his honeymoon is for him and his fiancé and not a family vacation. Especially on a cruise ship and shared a cabin where there is no escape or privacy. I asked him what he would think if his fiancé's parents and brother were to tag along but he completely missed the point and said they have traveled a lot before and don't need a cheap vacation. His fiancé was so upset, and they have been fighting about this. In her defense, this isn't the only issue. When they got engaged my brother suggested that they let my mom plan the whole wedding so they could avoid the stress and time it takes. They had an argument about that too before my brother relented. When my cousin got pregnant, and my brother and his fiancé were talking about hypothetical names for their kids my brother said they should ask my mom because she has good ideas to pick a name. That was also an argument. There was another argument when he wanted to take mom house shopping to get her input. This is the first time I have been dragged into it. Before I just heard about it from my brother, and I never said anything or got involved. But this time I told him that while it was nice of him to think about us, the honeymoon is not the time so I'm not going. He countered that my mom is on board with going because of course she is. She was on board with the other suggestions like her planning the wedding. Unlike the other times he isn't backing down and his fiancé is at the end of her rope. I have never commented on the previous issues before when he told me about them but this time, I said he needs to be independent of his mom or his fiancé will reach a breaking point. He's still trying to convince me to come with him, he doesn't get it. I don't know if he's just more of an idiot than I thought but we are twins, so I don't know what that means for me. I do want to travel one day, couldn't afford it when I was in university and then COVID happened and I work in a hospital. But not sharing a cabin with my brother on his honeymoon. I told him I'm not coming and besides the one comment about him being independent of mom I'm staying out of it, but I really needed to get all this off my chest without creating more drama. My partner's girlfriend found me in his bed. I really don't know what to feel. I'm obviously angry and sad, but also relieved and amused to find this out like this. So last night, I, F23, stayed at my boyfriend's, M24, house. We've been together for three years and planned on moving in together in January. BF works early, and I usually leave his flat during his workday. Last night though, I for some reason didn't sleep well. So, I woke up around 1 p.m. I decided to stay over because it was only three more hours until he gets back to work. I did his dishes and cleaned a little, then went back for a little nap. I woke up to the door. I heard two people talking and laughing, my boyfriend and a woman. I heard my boyfriend enter the shower, and the woman came into the bedroom. I immediately got up, and we stared at each other quietly for a long time. I'd never seen her in my life. She said, we might want to leave, quietly enough for my boyfriend not to hear the conversation. I quickly collected my things and put on my shoes and coat. My boyfriend exited the shower right then, I just walked past him and didn't say a thing. I and the woman got out of the door together, and he started shouting after us but didn't chase after us, he was butt naked. Turns out, the woman thought my BF was single, and they had a fling for three months. She apologized many times to me, but I reassured her it was okay. I didn't think my BF would be so stupid to start a fling or bring her home before checking whether I'm still there or not. Apparently, he got a little too cocky and comfortable with my stupidity. I haven't responded to his calls or texts, for now. I'm heartbroken but relieved about finding this out before moving in with him. Edit. We broke up. I read his texts, first ones were trying to downplay, explain the situation, then he moved on to apologize. The last text was him asking for his Switch game back, apparently when he realized I wasn't buying his explanations. I told him I'd return the game, but that our relationship is over. Then I blocked his number. I refuse to invite my mom to my wedding and back to my life. My fiancé is the only one who agrees. My mom is a hero mom. She is considered to be a fighter and she is a role model. 
And she is all that so I know that I will not get the support here just like in my life, but I just want a vent. I'm the oldest, M30, of five. Mom had me when she was really young. At the age of 17 to 18 with a BF. They got married and then divorced when I was six. She remarried weeks later to my stepdad, and we moved in with him. I still lived with my dad on weekends until he got a job in a new country. My mom had all my half-siblings within four years. And after every child was born, she was crueler and crueler. After the last baby, she and her stepdad got divorced. Things started to go crazy when she separated from my stepdad. She beat and starved us on regular basis. My half-siblings could at least stay with their dad sometimes, but I had to stay with her instead. Worst of all, at night she stood in my doorway in the darkness and all I saw is her silhouette holding a knife. She didn't say or do anything just stood there watching. I was terrified and hid under my cover never daring to look until morning. When I was 12, I got a bit taller and gained weight because someone, me, finally started cooking around the house. And one day when she stood there with the knife, I walked to her grabbed her hand very hard, and turned on the lights. I started yelling at her what do you want? She started screaming and crying and I hit her hard and she stumbled backward. I kicked her and stamped on her hand until she dropped the knife. She never tried to scare me again. I called my dad and told him everything. Within two weeks all the children were taken from her. My two brothers six, five at the time are the only ones who witnessed this and still remember that night. She was diagnosed with postpartum depression soon after and everyone felt so sorry for her because of the toll it took on her going without treatment. She started her treatment, and she turned her life around and she could regain custody of my half-siblings. I was old enough now to refuse to live with her. Also, she started med school and she's now a doctor. She does a lot of charity work with postpartum women and tries to raise awareness. She is a hero. I never really took up contact with her. Eventually, my siblings started reaching out to me when they got older, and I have a pretty close relationship with them. I'm getting married this June to the love of my life and the mother of my child. I didn't want to invite my mom, and this started friction in my relationship with the rest of my family. They don't understand how I could be so cruel. I know now that my mom was sick, and she's treated. She is a different person now. This led to the discussion that I haven't let her in my son's life. And that is cruel too. When my fiancé asked me, and I finally told her she subconsciously hugged our son to her chest and told me that she didn't want mom to be in our lives. She is the only person on my side. My ex is sending nudes right next to me in bed. She thinks I'm an idiot. She thinks I didn't notice. Played it off as touching her chest. I know she was taking pictures on Snapchat. She's not smooth. She dumps me and then starts sending nudes to other guys off dating apps in bed next to me? Before we can even move out? In just a couple of weeks? If only you knew how livid I am laying here next to you right now. It takes a lot of gall to act like this. Edit. Obligatory. Wow I didn't think this would gain this much attention. Though it's true, a bit more context since I didn't elaborate before. We were engaged, it wasn't a mutual breakup. She did it more out of nowhere. We rent this apartment together and only one bed. Don't want to sleep on the couch because I sleep terribly on it, but I still may soon. I just needed to vent about this horrible situation and the anger, read, livid, that I'm having. Found out I'd been dating my father for almost four months. Throw away because I can never have anyone know this happened to me. I still have no idea how to process it. Buckle up because this is a long one. So, I've never met my dad. He ran off when my mom found out she was pregnant with me. My brother was only 8 months old at the time, so he also has no memory of him. There are no pictures of him anywhere and my mom hates talking about him. All I know is that he was emotionally abusive to her and a real asshole. I, 25 meters, have a thing for older men. Call it daddy issues or a fetish or whatever you want but I pretty much only date or sleep with men 40 and up. My family doesn't know this or that I'm gay for that matter. It wouldn't be an issue, they just never ask. We don't really share personal things like that. About six months ago I met David, fake name, duh, at a club. We hit it off great, he's in great shape for his age, supposedly 43, although that's a lie, he's actually 47 as of found out, really attractive, charming, etc. He left for a two-week work trip a few days after we met but we kept messaging each other and I really liked him, which is rare for me. We went on a date after he came back and have pretty much been dating ever since. 
He has a lot of money and I'm kind of his sugar baby, but that's not the reason I was attracted to him. Definitely a plus though. I didn't tell anyone we were dating except for two of my best friends. He also never met any of my friends or family and I never met his. This changed last night. We were at a restaurant when out of the corner of my eye I spotted my mom. I don't live at home and we only usually text if we need something, so I didn't know she'd be there and tbh I still don't know why she was, she hates going out and thinks it's a waste of money. She had not seen us yet, but David noticed me looking at her. I'll forever remember the way his face changed when he saw her. His expression went from the casual, charming smile he always had to this blank, panicked look. I obviously noticed and got a really bad feeling, so I asked him what was wrong, and he just got up and excused himself. I kept asking him where he was going and grabbed him so he couldn't just leave. At this point, I was really confused and suspicious, but I would have never guessed what would happen next. I don't think anything could ever prepare me for it. At some point, while he was getting up my mother must have spotted us because the next thing, I know she was next to our table, asking me what was going on. I couldn't really pinpoint her facial expression because it looked like she was horrified but again, at this point I didn't know David was my father and she doesn't know I'm gay. David is visibly uncomfortable and looks like he wants to die, he was literally sweating. I assumed this was because he didn't want my mother to know I was dating someone of his age. I was about to try to explain what was going on to my mom when she said, why would you go behind my back like this? I was so confused, because again, I didn't know he was my dad so like what was she going on about? She probably assumed I had looked for and met up with my father without talking to her about it despite her telling us how badly he treated her. To me, however, it seemed like she was acting crazy for no reason. I kind of took it personally and thought she was trying to tell me who to date and what to do so I casually told her that I was just on a date with my boyfriend and I tried to grab David's hand but he just jumped up and ran away. He literally bolted like a ducking Olympic runner. I cannot get the ducking image out of my head of him jumping between waiters to get away. Everyone was staring at us by this point, it was so embarrassing, and I was mortified. My mom looked like she was frozen in place. I was more confused than ever, I had no idea what was happening. I had assumed she had asked me that because she didn't want me to be gay, which made no sense, she is very open and liberal, or date older men, which made a bit more sense but was still none of her business. But her expression just made my skin crawl, it's like I could feel the horror she must have been experiencing. She just told me to get up and come with her. I was still confused but something in her body language told me to just do as I was told. I quickly paid for our drinks and appetizers, thank god the main course hadn't been served yet because damn was that crap expensive. My mom excused herself to her friends and once we were in her car outside, we just sat there in silence for what felt like at least 10 minutes. I didn't really dare to say anything, I was still processing that my boyfriend just ducking ran away from me and my mother, I had also tried to text him but he wasn't responding, shocker, I know. When my mom spoke, it sounded like she had been shot. She sounded so wounded, I think it might haunt me forever. She asked me who that man was and I explained to her and I went on about how much I loved him because again, I was still thinking of David as my boyfriend and assumed my mom's reaction was because of his age or gender. I cannot believe that I went on about how much I romantically loved my dad right to my mother's face. It makes me want to puke. Long story short, she told me he was my father and that she instantly recognized him. That talk was the most traumatic experience of my life. We both started crying at some point and just wept for a while in the car, I was howling, it was ducking primal. I'm not usually emotional or prone to crying so it was really shocking to me just how much pain a person can feel. Most of it is just a blur now, especially compared to how clearly, I remember every other moment of the evening up to this. We drove home, I slept in my old bedroom. We haven't talked about it since but my brother is also staying at our place still, he's a med student, and never moved out because of housing costs, and he knows something's up. Tried talking to me about it and I just broke down again. How do I ever tell anyone about this? The worst part is I think despite all of this I still love David. Just writing that makes me want to throw up. I cannot believe this is reality. Like how duck does all of this? Why did this happen to me? I don't even think I could tell my therapist about this. I tried messaging David but I just don't know what to say. The last message I sent him literally just says, please call me, I love you, sent right after he ran away. Like what the duck? What the actual ducking duck? Like how do I come back from this?
How do I ever look my mom in the eye again? I haven't left my room yet and I'm in tears again while writing this. I can't even remember the last time I cried before yesterday and now I've been doing it non-stop. If anyone has any advice, as if, whom the duck else would ever accidentally do this besides stupid me, it would be highly appreciated. Also, feel free to make dark jokes about this, it's my coping mechanism. I also did not proofread this as I don't think I can bring myself to read it again. I was rated the worst looking guy in my fraternity by a sorority we have an event with this weekend. That's pretty much the post. We have a formal with them. They were supposed to pick dates. No girl picked me, I'm the only one whom no one picked and one of the girls I used to be friendly with that they all agree I'm the least attractive guy in the frat and no one wanted to be my date. So, my self-esteem is kind of broken and I think I hate women. JK mostly but honestly my self-esteem is destroyed. Like and subscribe for more ducking content.